Hi and welcome to Material Musings today. I am working on this uh, piece and I've also got some other delightful things to show you. But um, yeah, first of all, we'll look at this piece. Um, what I've decided to do is some beading and um, I'm going to add these alternate wooden and they're just bigger than seed beads anyway. So I am now, I've done the bottom bit and I'm going to do the top. I don't think I've got enough to kind of go down the sides. So we are just going to go ahead. So I'm adding the wooden bead first. I should have enough to do the top. The wooden bead first and then the plastic bead. And you just kind of make your way I'm just going to make my way across the top. So what I normally do is go all the way across the top and then I would come back and stitch in between say every two beads and that just stops it from moving like that. So I'm going to get them all on first and then do that <clears throat> and see if maybe I see what other beads I've got here. I was looking at the bugle beads um, but I need a fine needle so that would work along here the bugle beads and say one of these like off-white beads would go and that pick up nicely the colour in here. So I'm gonna get on with this and as I say just choose alternate beads let me move this out of the way and just work my way along here. so far. So I'm going to continue with this and when I come back next time we will have added all of the beading. But you can see how you know sometimes just the addition of beading it totally does um, change a piece, um, a stitch piece and adds just that extra for me, anyway, it just adds that extra piece of um, interest. Um, yeah, so I'm going to continue with this one down the side and continue on this side. And then what I'll do is I will stitch around each of them so then it won't be, you won't be able to move them. So that's that piece. I wanted to um, also show you something that I had made in the Making Zen class. I'll be sharing some of the things that I've been making over the weeks. I'm still <laughs> going through, um, but it's nice to be able to have like a set project. You know, I've got my own things that I want to finish, but as you work on um, other teacher's lessons then you pick up um, you know some interesting hints and tips and ways of doing things so let's have a look at the thing the couple of things that I made okay so here are the two um, the little I can't remember what she called them but um, but these are the ones that I made um, and I've made mine this particular one has got earrings um, and that's just taken from, it was like broken jewellery, so it was a necklace. And then she's got a little brooch on the front of her. Um, I made the face separately. And then she's wearing like a head wrap. And I'm thinking of adding some beads to this. Let's bring you in a bit. There we 
There we go. So she's got both of her eyes closed. And what she looks like at the back. Um, they're fairly small. The ones that I made are five inches. It's five by three, two and a half. I had um, just kind of eyeballed it. I had the fabric. The fabric was this particular size, maybe just a bit bigger. And that's the size I wanted to make. Um, so I'll probably do um, a bit of beading here. I've stitched this, but I'm going to just add some beading to the back. And that's one of them. And then the next one, she's got pigtails. <laughs> I've kind of done her a bit more kind of expressive in the sense that, well, she's got one eye open and one eye closed, like she's almost winking. And I've made the these bits out of uh, jeans material and just fabric and yeah she's just got a kind of mishmash of things on her that I had sewn previously and she's actually wearing a hat and then I added the I thought the pigtails which I might just curl so they go like that Anyway, but yeah, so those are the two things I've made so far. And I realise that I like making these little dolls. Um, what I'd like to do is use some of the um, my art dolls and use those as the basis. So I'm going to experiment and then let you have a look. And it's it kind of followed on from when I was doing this one. So this is taken from one of my art dolls and then I've cut out cut it out in fabric. So this one is actually practically finished. I just need a back in. This was going to be the back in, but then it's like okay, so it's not going to be the back in. <laughs> There's going to be another one. So I might take a plain kind of pale kind of tan material and put at the back in. But I want to use my figures in creating some of these dolls so we'll have to you'll have to wait and see how that turns out um, and then the only other thing that I did was this this is another figure so now I've accentuated the eyes I've just got to go around with some black thread so that's another thing that I'll probably um, try and get done and completed and then this one just needs its back in fabric. So all in all, I've kind of kept busy just trying to bring things to um, their end and also trying to make time in terms of experimenting because it's in the experimenting that you learn new techniques and um, you can then apply that to what you're learning overall you know, your own projects. Um, so for these ones, I realized that I do actually want to create some figures with the pieces that I've made or um, kind of get a the essence of them. I know that there's, there's so much more that can be done with them. They initially started out as just coloring pages and now they've just kind of morphed into other things, which I'll be looking forward to sharing with you. So I'm going to get on and um, yeah. So next week I'll share with you another one of the projects that I've been working on from The Making Zen. And I will share, there's an embroidery extravaganza that C and T Publishing are going to be doing in August. So I'll leave the, um, information in the description you can get $20 off using my link um, but you see her hat and it's held on she's got some there's some beads that are holding it on and yeah I really enjoy doing these two so I hope that that is um, useful as I say you will see this one come to its end 
next week when I've I should I should have finished the beading, adding the beading, unless I decide to add additional beading. That's always a possibility. Um, I, I do like the effect of the seed beads and on a piece like this um, it might be that I even in the the head wrap do some beading but we'll see okay so I am going to leave it there and I hope that you have a delightful creative time with whatever you're doing. So take care for now.